Hello viewers, today I am going to start a new series for a project which is known as online interactive class and today is the first module that I am going to present. This module is very important for those students who are new to the world of software development. After the end of this presentation you will get to know that what are the things you should remember while constructing a form that will be taking input from the user and if that input is going to be thing related with the primary key what are the restrictions you should implement so that no duplicate value gets generated or any kind of uh, undue data gets into the table so let me run the project as i run it would prompt me to enter which type of user you are i'm getting through as a admin since all the master records that means those in which involve the primary key will be inserted by the admin while the transactional table will involve the other users so let me select the master department master if you see this particular form this form will tell you few important information like this is the input where i am supposed to give but initially it is inactive there are all total six buttons out of which two buttons are disabled while four others are enabled why it is so because this is a single form through which the user will be able to provide new value as well as can modify the existing value that is there in the database this is the portion that you can see the existing record that has been fetched from the database right now in the database there is a particular table which i will show you later consists of two values over here and that what you can see in the data grid view now since i don't know whether the user would go for a save that means for inserting a new record or edit that means for exist for executing um, an existing record so these two buttons save and delete are by default disabled now when the user go for inserting a new record he need to choose new the moment it does that there will be a message that will flash in this particular label so let me do that and the cursor will spawn in the text box see over here now i can go for inserting a new record so let me insert the record suppose triple e this is the new record that i want to insert and then i will press the save button if i do this immediately a message will prompt the record gets saved and the value comes in the data grid instantly keeping the cursor in the text box and without providing any input if i go for a save it will instantly prompt me that you have to enter a record over here so i need to provide a record then only it can be saved i cannot save the blank value similarly if i have to go for updating an existing record over here i will choose the edit option and then i will choose the exact exact record which i want to update so suppose i want to update cs so i will select this from the grid and the record will come instantly in the text box so here i can perform the modification suppose i want to make it as a computer science so whatever updation i'm making that will be instantly been saved as i press the save button so once i do that the new record gets modified and the effect appears in the grid so that means for performing both insert as well as edit we can do it from the same form now if i want to perform a delete operation even i can do that suppose i want to delete the it department so that department which you want to delete first you select that department and then you press the delete button once you do that a message will prompt stating that the record which you have selected will be deleted if you want to proceed further you say yes or else you say no so let me delete it once more so here it is and i say yes and immediately the record gets disappeared from the grid so this is how you can perform the initial or you can perform the basic queries that you can see over here so this particular grid will involve the select query the new will involve the insert query the save will insert will uh, the new will actually choose which mode you want to go for insert or edit that will be regulated in the form of an insert query and update query and finally that gets implemented through the save button the delete is also implemented but those who knows um, the standard of project what i basically do they knows very well that i don't go for delete rather the delete has got a different concept okay so that will not be covered in the periphery of this particular presentation but uh, obviously i would like to show you few thing in content database as well first i will ask you people or the viewers that how many input i have taken you might wonder that i have taken only one input and you might also think that in the table there might be one attribute because only one input has been taken by the user but let me tell you uh, if such kind of question comes in the interview then you must say that max to max there can be two more other attribute that can be there along with how many input you are taking those two inputs are one that can be a default and there can be an auto increment attribute 
So as a whole, I can say that in this particular table, there can be three attribute, although I have taken input from the user as one attribute. So let me show that thing what I was trying to say. So let me click this uh, close button, then I minimize it and I try to open my uh, database first. So let me show you the schema. Here you can see that there are exactly three attributes which I'm referring. One is auto increment, the other one has got a default value of n. And this is what I was trying to say. So in spite of the fact that only one attribute value I've taken, there are two other extra attributes that is already in the table. And what value actually has been implemented? Let me show you that. Now this is the previous value. Let me refresh it and here it comes. So the moment I insert it triply, there's an auto increment of the last value, what was there in the database. So that came over here and a value got implemented over here as well. Now what is the meaning of n that I will talk uh, in my later videos? So that means what? In spite of the fact that the user provided only one record for the from the form, but actually in the in the table, two other records also got implemented. So that's how the validation is also being taking place in the form of no blank value will be inserted. And in context to stability of the database is concerned, since this is a primary key, so all the auto increment value will be primary key. So the latter in my transactional table, I can easily extract the respective value based on this particular ID. I hope this particular video helped you to understand that how a basic uh, form should look like and in my later video I would talk about some other more transactional forms which will provide these data over there and can go for foreign key concept. So until then have a nice time.